What up, Chip Chaps? This is Chip Chap Chap, episode 56. 56. 56. It almost sounds like the uh, thing. 56. Uh, uh, 50 of Zilks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's that one. That's what that sounds like, bro. Uh, now I'm going to have to use a laser. And try to... <laughs> I'm not going to change the channel. I'm not going to change the channel. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's get into this shiznit. We're on 56 already. Yeah, I know. Also, uh, I'm Chamba. And I'm Fu Ray. We forget that all the time. We do forget that all the it time. Because doesn't matter. Because yeah. we, just, we just assume, you know what? You if you're, listen, yeah, if you're listening to this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't by now, wow, that's hey, crazy. But you, but you know what? We gotta treat it like every episode is somebody's it's, first. Yeah, episode. exactly, exactly. So you know what? I'm Fure, guys. I'm I'm the th- I'm the thicker one on the on the artwork. <laughs> 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 Whichever brown you're seeing, two brown guys. You're seeing two I'm brown the thicker guys. one. I'm Chama. I'm the one with the longer mustache. Yeah, longer, definitely. Um, let's jump right into this movie mm. news, and actually, it's TV stuff. We got TV stuff first, first, and then it's movie stuff. All right. So the first thing we got on the list is the first photo of the TV version of Ghost Rider was released. Yeah, the Robbie Reyes version of mm-hmm. Ghost Rider, played by Gabriel Luna. Yep. Who I'm not familiar with at all. I'm not either. He does... I don't know. This. You said he looks too old. Personally, he looked like... It's not what I'd imagine him age-wise. How, how old did you imagine I thought he was guys? supposed to play... Right, if he's supposed to play uh, early 20s, then personally he looks older right. than that. Do you think that has anything to do with the fact that we are older people now? Maybe. Because, you know, when we were little kids, everybody that played teenagers was 28... I get that. Were they? Yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were older. I right. know that. I know and, that. And we just kind of accepted it. But then we're, this, like, right. we're little. We all right, sure. They're older. That's okay, what teenagers cool, cool. look like. But then by your saying, if he's supposed to be 21 and he's actually, say, he actually is like that age, then right. he looks way older than, than his age. <laughs> he looks way older. Like he aged not well. Right. But, you know, to some little kid, they go, that guy's older than me. Sure, he's 20-something. Uh, yeah, well, maybe. Maybe. But are kids, little kids watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Especially it, after this 10 o'clock I think o'clock it's show. aimed at teenagers, is it's, the idea. But they're not going to blow because everyone after a teenager is an old man. Right. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like how old, how old do you think I am? Forty. What? It's teenagers and the owner of the teenagers. Yeah. Okay. And everyone that's a parent age <laughs> is right. older. Okay. Exactly. Fair which enough. we are technically but yeah. It's like all right. Age, now. age or not, it's visually just not really what I had imagined. Just that dude. Yeah. I mean, he's got the, the like based on the drum. He's got the jacket. He's got he the, doesn't have the white streak. That's the thing. His hair doesn't look. And that was like to me. That was a part of his character. He's just kind of got slicked back. Yeah. I mean, I think hair. later in the series he does get short hair, but. That was later on. I mean, but do you think he'll get the white thing in ah, the shield eventually? I don't really care. So long as he gets the helmet when he rocks as Ghost Rider. I mean, if I'll be if right. his outfit looks mm-hmm. like that and it looks pretty spot on, mm-hmm. I imagine the helmet's gonna look like that. When does that return? I have no idea. October, I think. Why have I read in places that people have already seen clips of this? Probably because they're starting to send out like press early press release stuff. Oh, interesting. Okay. So motherfuckers can review it. Oh or yeah, preview yeah. Well, it. They, yeah. I'm I'm keen. I'm keen to see this because I remember a couple episodes all oh, yeah, episodes back we were right. saying I think a ghostwriter for television could be interesting and I'm like, yeah, Robbie Reyes would be sick for that. Uh, yeah, but I'm like I'm tr- I can only remember one car scene in all of Agents of Shield. Right. Really. You're concerned whether or not they can do the car stuff. Yeah, I'm curious how that's car. gonna work yeah, out. Yeah. Like my, my thing about that is that the car's on fire. The wheels are on fire. Are they going to show all of that when he's riding through? I don't know. It's I mean, the Flash shows that flash spark when he runs. Right. With Ghost Rider, would it just be fire? I don't know. And will it affect the is, is it supposed to have super speed, the car? It should. I mean, it I imagine it's faster well, than a normal yeah, car. Absolutely, absolutely. But, like, the Flash? <laughs> no, 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 no. But, like, you know, I'm saying, you know, in the Flash show, how when he runs, you see the right. electricity marks. With, with Ghost Rider, you'll kinda... see it, like, not like a, a crazy trail, but you would see a trail of where he goes, yeah. Right, right. And you think do they you, would show that? Do you think it'd be left behind him flaming, like like Backs of the Future type shit? 
If they did, how long would it even last? I don't know. That's weird. That's, that's too specific. I don't even know if the comic book version does that. I don't know, because they did a lot of stuff with pushing I didn't perspectives read and stuff. I didn't read any of that run. Because so. it was... Why? He didn't like the outline? Uh, I just didn't care. Just had no interest? I never read any Ghost Rider. I never sure. cared about the character. I just thought the design looked cool. Yeah, I liked when he showed up in like the cartoons and stuff, and when he showed up. Oh, in I'm talking about the the most the the, the most. I just mean Ghost Rider in oh, jail. Yeah, yeah. The like, flaming skullhead. That's that's dope. Yeah, he's cool. Mm -hmm. He rides but, a motorcycle. Cool. He's got a fire chain. But I don't think uh, the like the lore of Ghost Rider was appealing to me. Right. And I don't think any of the characters necessarily were appealing to me. I just kind of liked what. Yeah, he looked I, like. I like what he looked. I thought he looked really cool, and like the whole spirit of vengeance type stuff. I was like, okay. That's just the I, thing like I, I didn't even know who his villains were. No, I as still a kid. don't. Like, I know Blackheart is one. Is it? Yeah. Okay. And Mephi Mephisto. Mephisto. All the like. Oh wait, so he fights. Characters. Wait, so he can he kind of fight characters. His villains are like on the Doctor Strange level type stuff. Because I'm know, assuming it's Mephisto. Mystical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But have the do they have like crossover villains? I think so. Like I think Dormammu probably fights both of them. If That's like legit. A, Ghost Rider's legit. If he's a hell guard, yeah. Ghost Rider's supposed to be Ghost Rider. I remember when I was a kid watching an episode of like, I think it was Fantastic Four's cartoon. Yeah, because he rocked up there, and he rocked. I think he rocked up on Spider Man also. Was it Spider Man? One of the ones right. he stops Galactus. Fantastic Four. <laughs> yeah. He makes Galactus like see all the damage he's doing yeah, or and it's feel all yeah, of it. It's amazing. And I was like, holy shit, I yeah. didn't know Ghost Rider could do that. Because that's what he does. Yeah, and I'm I didn't like, know anything about that. That's, that's scary. It is a scary concept. And if you're doing it to Galactus, but I think uh, it's supposed to only work if you actually do feel guilt. And I don't think Galactus would feel guilt I think he's supposed that, to yeah. make you feel, feel guilt. Oh, that's... He makes you feel the pain of that you've caused or whatever. I mean, Galactus, he's an eater of exactly, worlds. Exactly. <laughs> that's why it was it, like completely stopped him it would he uh, could probably do it to thanos then i'd be curious i'd be curious mm -hmm. that, this i don't know i don't know do what this, the new one is yeah about. does he use chains as well he I does he must he does. right he does but um i know it's like a different spirit altogether and stuff well i guess that makes sense yeah. if it looks like that mm -hmm. and it doesn't have anything to do with motorcycles right 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 it's or it, like it's completely different it's 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 a ghost rider but he's not like, even linked to Johnny Blaze. Yeah, and like stuff, the yeah. Western Ghost mm. Rider is right, also right. a different thing. That looks like a thing. Yeah. I'm not really off put by it. I will watch it when it starts airing. Right. Uh next up we got more behind the scenes photos of the Netflix Iron Fist stuff with Danny Rand. He's got bloody knuckles. Bloody knuckles. Oh bloody knuckles, but he also has like a wound. Oh yeah, inside. he had he had bloody hands because yes. he was holding yes. like a gunshot wound mm -hmm. or something, it looked like. And uh, more scenes where he was barefoot or, like, doing Tai Chi in the streets. Still nothing in costume. Nothing in costume. He's got really curly hair. <laughs> right. I wonder if it's going to be a lot of him just fighting in normal clothes at the beginning yeah. of this. Because, because he's not, like, going out to be a vigilante like, like Daredevil was. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have, like, a makeshift costume he can make better. The thing that I'm really enjoying so far with these Netflix shows is how differently laid out each show is. Right. Um, I mean, sure, we've only got Daredevil and Jessica Jones so far. Right, right. Luke Cage soon. Luke though. Cage, in, end of month. And it's almost like they are definitely doing their own thing in terms of the character and the show. They're presenting him in a different, like, in specific ways, only s specified for them. Right. You know? uh, it doesn't follow a, spe a formula, like an actual solid formula, right. but it still gets all the message across. And I think that's... I'm really looking forward to what they do with the Iron Fist's one. Dude, the... Let's kind of segue into the next thing. Early reviews for Luke Cage. Like right. people have been saying, this shit is amazing yeah, already. Yeah, it's amazing I'm like, already. I'm like, no, don't hype it up. I, I just want to kind yeah, of enjoy I, it. But they're like, it's so good. It's like it, on it's, par it's, with Daredevil. It's fine that they say like, um, it reminds them. Of, it's like Marvel's The Wire, and I'm fine because I have never, I never seen saw the, wire. the Wire. So, so I have fresh. completely nothing <laughs> right. to, to go with it. And yeah. maybe I'm like, wow, The Wire could could be good, but you know, it would be better. Just set it in Marvel Universe, and this is what we get. So right. I don't need to watch The Wife. I got a freaking Luke Cage. Yeah, plus it sounds like a lot of the same actors kind right. of moved over. So I'm cool with that. But yeah, like earlier reviews saying it's it's on par with the first season Dead Devil. Yeah, I think Kevin Smith said it was on par with it. I saw a Collider review that said it was amazing. So I'm definitely uh, looking forward <sighs> to it. But I'm like, bastards. It's like, dude, we're like... 
three weeks. <laughs> right. Just some wait, man. It's so soon now. Oh, yeah, marathon, so that whole shit. I'm looking forward to that time. I'm so looking forward to it. Uh, I just don't know what to expect, though. I don't, and I think I'm kind of good with that. I'm good with it, but I'm like I'm hoping it's I don't good know as enough about his villains. Right. And like my main thing is everything they've shown us so far, he just kind of throws villains like yeah. nothing. He's bulletproof, obviously. But so he, in my head, I'm like, okay, so who do you give that right. kind of fight, and exactly. how and how do they hurt him? That's so exactly it. Right now, that's where hurt. my head's yeah, at. Yeah. I just want to know that. Like they did with both uh, Daredevil and Jessica Jones. Right. This is what they are. This is what they do. How can we put them down? Or who can we show you? That can I, put but them I think down? both Jessica Jones and Daredevil, like despite their abilities, are still very much vulnerable right. characters. Whereas right now, one, Luke Cage, it yeah. seems like he's in Right, right. So what can affect him? Right. That's what I want to know. Mm. I want to know how, how they fix that problem. It should be interesting, that, And it's so close to... I'm really looking September forward. 30th, can't wait. Yeah. Movie news. Uh, Suicide Squad beats Man of Steel in terms of box office earnings. It's pretty good. Like, did you expect that? Uh, yeah. I mean, I... I mean, it, it should be that, yeah. I mean, I'm sure the studios are looking forward to when each film they release tops the previous. Right. Right? That's Is that a goal? Possibly. Right. Um, sometimes it doesn't happen. At all, I think that's what they want. They want to right. up, absolutely, go, uh, always go high, high, high. Yes, yes. Uh, but I don't know. I guess that's that makes sense to me. I mm-hmm. mean, it's it's more of a fun movie. Mm-hmm. So I get why people are going. Did it make more than BVS? No, but BVS has Batman and Superman. Right, and Superman. Okay, so it, technically that one should have made the most money in uh, right. ever. <laughs> should have, but ever. A lot of bad buzz going into it. Confirmed now, Joe yeah. Manganiello is Deathstroke. Right. I don't know. They still haven't said, hey, that was him in the costume. Right, right, what right. what that was for. Mm-hmm. But it's confirmed he's going to play Deathstroke. Yeah, he's going to play Deathstroke. That's pretty much it. Uh, so who confirmed it? DC? My, DC, my yeah. See, we have not got any of these kinds of things about Spider-Man. Right. And, you know, that's fine. I feel like that's fine. I, the less I know, like, if they yeah, can the make less... it so somehow that movie comes out and I don't know shit, yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. Because then we can talk all I, about I that. I want to know it. Right. I definitely want to know. I'm not saying I don't. Not, it's almost like they're managing to not give us enough. Right. But if they if they figure out a way to not let me know shit, don't even show me a fucking do you trailer. Think, do you think they'd be ballsy enough to just, like, let out fake news? Oh, I'm sure of it. I'm <sighs> That'd sure of it. That'd be great, though. That'd be great, like, if all, all the stuff that we've been hearing... Right. Not it. You know what would be All hilarious? All, like, very different, very off. What would be hilarious is if they put that Deathstroke thing out, and that was just some stunt guy. Yeah. And they were like, let's just see who they say right. we should pick. Yeah, And then exactly. let's pick that guy. It wouldn't surprise me, though. <laughs> Why don't they do stuff like that? I don't know. Look at this, the whole Deadpool thing. The leak. Right. Yeah? The picture leak. The pic- no, no, not the picture leak. The, the whole... concept thing. The concept video. Right. Like, that basically jumpstart the film being made. Yeah. By them saying, we were already going to make this. Right. We did a thing for it. We did a thing for it. Isn't this awesome? But it really built up the hype, and that's what essentially they did. So it's the same kind of tactic. Yeah. But do you think they had the cast already? Do you uh, actually think that they had a list of a few people that they had in mind? Oh, for sure. I think think that they talked to Joe a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I know that. A year or two ago. I think that for sure. And I, I think that they decided what he was going to be. And what if they go, uh, uh, who do you want to be? Uh, and I think that they probably met for him and asked asked about a couple of different characters he mm. might want to play. And he probably was like, I'll play that guy. He's like, that sounds like fun. That may be. That might, that might be it. It's like, you get to like, you went and just being one, you'll be in a couple. Like, he's not going to just want to done you. Yeah, so now you know, Flash Thompson is uh, one of the biggest villains in the DC universe. Yep. That's pretty nuts, and that's cool. Yeah, I but think it's hilarious they're... that now they're trading like Flash Thompson and and uh, JJ Jonah yeah, JJ Jonah JJ, JJ, JJ is now in Gordon. DC Universe. He's yeah. old, but yeah, and yeah they trade because he was a bad guy. Somewhere. And Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. Oh wait, the Spider Man. Oh crap, who's the first Spider-Man? playing? Huh? Who's the first playing again? He's playing He's a, a, like an Atlantean, yeah, and like an ancient Atlantean right. type guy. Dang! Wow. Okay. They're, so Raimi's Spider Man is basically. Turned into DC's. Yeah, so now Marvel universe. need to get like Val Kilmer. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, they do. Get they all got the Batman. Ba- they got Batman. Do they got Keaton? Exactly. But get Christian Bale. Just wait. Get all the Batmans. Get that would Adam be hilarious. <laughs> they should all be Spider Man's villains. That would be amazing. <laughs> Could you believe? That would be so crazy. Um, Bale as uh, which, which... Ba- Bale as Goblin. He's a method actor as well. He as can go Norman, nuts. As Norman would be pretty cool. As Norman, you know he would be legit. Yeah. As uh, as Goblin, I think he might do pretty good. I know yeah. you're like, oh, he's a Cookie Monster voice. I'm sure he's not no, going to do the Batman voice. I don't think he would do voice. that. I think he, he wouldn't would do, do a that different that. thing. Yeah. Um, think of like his body transformation that he does for films. Right. He can be the thin thing. Right. I'm I think sure he can. Do I think he can do an in, a very interesting take on on Goblin. I know it's not. The one that we would like. I would hope they do like a mask though. Yeah, absolutely. If they're gonna do mm, it, mm. like the actual make him look like Goblin. Absolutely. Like remember um, that one scene when. Uh, what would you get Val Kilmer to do? Nah, I don't know if he can. Who? I was like Doc Ock. I was like for nah. Kilmer with yeah. a bowl cut. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have the what? With a bowl cut? Does he have that with a bowl cut? Are you yes. imagining the original ones? Yeah, Doc Ock, dude. <coughs> okay. He had a bowl cut and rabies one. No, that would be silly if it was that. I How? can't imagine if I'm No, 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 no. It's that definitely shit is not that. Yeah. In my it's, head. it's hilarious. <laughs> it looks, it looks so clowny. <laughs> like he's trying to be an extra in Dumb and Dumb or something. Oh god. Um. Oh, fucking who would like? I don't know what what shape Val Kilmer's in right now. All right. That's the problem. Because if he was like, say, if he maintained that Batman type shape, uh-huh. he's Asian now. It could be like Craven. Yeah, but he okay. So he's not. He's not in Batman. Yeah, he's shape. not. So Batman who is Batman? That's the question. With this like kiss, kiss, bang, bang body. Oh, like, oh, he's no. just kind of got dad body. He's got dad body. He's got dad body in um, Spider Man. Some sort of scientist. Yeah, something. I figured. Not Doc Ock though. No, that's no, too no, funny. No. He's, that's hilarious. Uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> what about Clooney? Clo- Fuck! I forgot about Clooney. He was Batman yeah. too. Dang. Clooney could be Craven. He can be. He would he? I don't know. That'd be weird. That would be weird. That'd be really. weird. I don't know if it's bad. No. But it would be weird. And that would be crazy. Yeah. Can you can you imagine Sony? Yeah. Clooney as a Spider Man villain. And like when someone picks up on a pattern, they're like, "Wait a second, they're just getting old Batman." Kilmer Mysterio. That's fucking great. That because his voice is fantastic. Yeah, he could totally do. Oh, that's a good one. I like this one. Like, uh... Nice, too. Chameleon? I was gonna say Chameleon, I was like... I don't know. And I don't know if I, they, they should touch a lizard again. Not, not this soon. No. No, I don't like Clooney as a scientist, either. I don't buy it. But, you know, either way... Clooney could if actually... If they did, it would be hilarious. Clooney would have made a good Osborne. Norman. <sighs> Me? I, just, I don't think he could do the... Yeah, I don't know. He, he can't do Goblin. That's the thing. I think Bale is a... A I more think, yeah. interesting choice for that. And I think you would act the fuck out of it, which is what you Oh, which would be so fucking good. Yeah. That would be, be amazing. Good. That would be pretty cool. Uh, and plus the fact that they're all Batmans would just make it fun. And hilarious. Mm-hmm. But speaking of that, mm-hmm. uh, we got our first look at the Shocker. We did. Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, and it's pretty much like we were wanting. Yeah. How it's like a less lesser villains looking like lesser villains. Yeah, like practical. Yeah. Their suits don't... Like, you remember Electro suit in Amazing? Like, it was Elect. Oh, for a second, I was like, was Electro there? And I was like, he's the main bloody villain. Yeah. He was blue. Yeah. But he had like a f- actual yeah, like check- wetsuit yeah. yeah, wet with suit. like mm-hmm. lightning bolt logos on it. Yeah, yeah. And the suit came out of nowhere. They right. never explained no, no, no. it. No, of they were not. just like, we th- we drew superhero yep. concept art that looked like Even that. Even though the last scene you saw him in, he was essentially melting. Right. Kind of. <laughs> right. Or he had a, a, a hoodie. He like evaporated. Right. And then so, he showed up later and had a suit on. Cool. If I, It would have made more sense if it was just electric blue the whole way. Yeah. Nah, it's cool. Silly, gotta see it. silly shit. Whereas the shocker, yeah, looks like it's somebody that put together something. Right, it's just like a shirt and a tactical vest. But it looks, and, it and actually it's the looks right really colors. cool. He's got like a ball of clava with like goggles. Yeah, and it's on. like people. I'm sure people would be like, you can't use yellow and red. Shocker's yellow and red, or just primarily yellow. It's like yellow and brown. Yeah, yeah, but you can't use the yellow because mm-hmm. that'll look really cheesy. It's like, yeah, but. 
Um, they made it look dingy. They made it exactly. It looks and worn. It, that's, and it works. To me, that works. And to it me, looks like a, like a coal mine. It was look. exactly now they wear those bright clothes. It was exactly what I wanted. Mm-hmm. So if they, so far they gave him a real outfit. Mm-hmm. When they changed over to this movie from Civil War, they gave him a real outfit, and they're starting to make the villains look like street level villains. Which like, is please. Just let it be that. Which is what it's it Spider Man is. It need to be a city destroyed. Yeah. Thing, please. Oh my good. No. Don't turn this into turtles. It do, yeah, it doesn't have to be the end of the turtles. world every or, time. Yeah, or the destruction of the city. Right. Maybe uh, the, the, of the neighborhood. Right. Or just of a person. Yeah. Or whatever. Something. It can be something mm-hmm. more personal than that. No, no. It has to be a blue light in the center of a city. Right. So they haven't said who the shocker is, but no. everybody's guessing it's the uh, I can't think of his name, the grippy guy from uh, Bokeem, Bokeem Woodbine, is it? Is that yeah, it? that's the one. Yeah, yeah. He is, I guess, every, the main per- person right. everyone's assuming. Right. How about if it's not? How about if it's Donald Glover? It's definitely. I don't feel like that's Donald Glover. I'm just saying. It that would be like hilarious. He, it didn't look like his body type, right. but if it is. That's fine, too. I kind of suspect that the Shocker is going to be related to the Michelle character. That's what I kind of want to happen. That's what you want to happen, yeah? We'll see if that ends up being the case. Right. But that's kind of what I want it to happen. Because then they have some sort of tie to the school as well. Right, right, right. Because otherwise, why is he getting up the school? Right. Why is this that feels too even random? Be yeah, yeah. It or maybe, any... well, unless, of course, maybe his equipment needs something. Because there's a science school right. that they're at, right? They probably got heaps of equipment It'd be interesting if the, if the tinkerer works out of the school. That would be like cool. That. He's one of the bloody teachers. Yeah, or an assistant or something. Yeah. It's next year, dude. Very curious, man. Next year. No trailer yet? Next year. Very fucking curious. Trailer by end of year, you reckon? I think it'd be cool if we get some sort of even brief teaser mm. for Strange. Oh, that would be wicked. Uh, but I think it's more likely that we get a teaser for Thor. I can't... Next year of movies, man... <laughs> it's gonna, be, it's gonna be so good. We got, I don't know which order as well. Guardians, Thor, and Spidey. Right. But then I was like, is it only three next year? What got... DC movies come out next year? Wonder Woman. Ant Man and the Wasp comes out two thousand eighteen. Okay. Uh, Avengers Infinity War is two thousand eighteen as well. Okay, so two thousand seventeen. Then Captain Marvel is nineteen. Wow. Okay, that one's a while then. Let's see here. They've got to have. Yeah, because what's the 2017 films? There's supposed to be a cloak and dagger thing in 2017. Guardians, Spider-Man, and Ragnarok. That's it. There's only three then. Or 17. Yeah, that's why I figured it was. Three. Oh, okay. So maybe that Ragnarok's at the end of the year. Is November. Right. And so it's, it's Guardians, Guardians first, 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 then like Spidey. May, yeah, then Spider-Man Spidey, July. and then okay. Right, and then wow. Thor and and DC movie. films, I'm assuming only Wonder Woman next year, or fl- is Flash next year as well. No, I think Flash is... The year after. The year after. With Aquaman. I don't know. Mm. DC's schedule is so much more convoluted, I have no idea. This is a little more spread out, though. They also didn't give us like a, a pretty graphic with all the titles next to each other. Mm. Uh, Wonder Woman is June 2nd of next, next year? year. Whoa, June 2nd? Yeah. Whoa. And then Justice League is November. Oh, snap. That's Then that's going to compete with Thor. Yep. It's going to beat Thor. Probably, but Thor is like Thor and World War Hulk. I know, but like the I trailers, think people have been if, once the that. trailers show it though, then then they're going to say, oh, this is competition. I don't know, dude. I don't think there's, I don't think that there's I think any Thor's way, out first though. I don't think there's any way that it competes. What? Do you think, uh, do you think Justice League will just own it? No. Oh, you think it won't? No. You think Thor will beat Justice League? Yeah. How? Because it's Thor and Planet I know, Hulk. but Justice League has Batman, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman, and The Flash, and Cyborg, <laughs> and Superman eventually, because he's going to be shown in As You Are. Right, yeah, but so. I feel like I feel like that won't matter. Really? <laughs> because it's got the whole oh, don't get me wrong. fighting would, giant monsters I would love in space that. Yeah, with I, Jeff Goldblum. But they need to show that in the trailers, is what I'm saying. Like, for oh, me, you for me. For me, I'm way hype, way more hyped for Thing. You think they Thor won't and, uh, show that? I'd like for them to. That'd be nice. I don't think there's any way that they that don't. they can't. I, I kind of find this whole um, this whole Marvel deal funny with Hulk. Do you? Yeah, because it's like, oh, we can't release solo films, so let's just uh, do a 
Thor and a Hulk movie together. <laughs> Suck at Universal <laughs> right. kind of thing. I'm like, that's a little fun. Because <laughs> technically Universal can't do shit. No. Th- Thor comes out like two weeks before. Oh. If that is Winter Soldier levels, right. as people are think, going yeah, p- which people are saying it is, right. then, and good word of mouth, yeah. it's going to be head-to-head with Justice League when that comes out. Yeah. And it might lose that week. The next week, it's going to be it's gonna be before uh, above it again. You think so? Yeah, if it's a good film. If, uh, I'm real curious. If man. this Thor Ragnarok is as good as people are saying it, it, it is based on the script. So then... Right after that, we get Black Panther in February. Oh, that's of oh, February. Yeah. So that's going to compete with De- Deadpool. Yeah, I guess so. That's a different, very different film. So that's fine. And they're both Marvel, right? And plus one is R rated. Uh, the Avengers: Infinity War comes out May fourth. Oh, that's nuts, dude. Yeah, and then Ant Man and the Wasp comes out on my birthday that year. What? July 6th. That's nuts. Yeah, that's cool though. And then. Uh, 2019 we get Captain Marvel and then that's it and then nothing no nope. and then in, in an Infinity War sequel whatever they call oh whatever that. it's called oh dude they're killing everybody <laughs> and Captain Marvel is leading it yep she's gonna be this the is what she's gonna be the new she's gonna be the new, new captain in charge man the new cap and the new um essentially new Stark right she can be both oh cool okay we'll, we'll see I mean, we'll see if it ends up oh, that's, that's, I'm excited though look forward to this shit <laughs> And the last like, still don't kill everybody. Right, everybody is care. happy and it's fine. Care. And old DC movies just get darker and darker <laughs> oh, while they still try to throw comedy at it. <laughs> like, oh, We're Batman fun. just got his head blown off. <laughs> We're still fun, guys. Holly <laughs> Quinn got a movie out. She's like, they hold up the decapitated head. <laughs> Here's who <he> with you. <laughs> <laughs> that film turned dark really quick. It's, it's Dark Side just making his own version of the movie. <laughs> Oh man, it's gotta be him doing the puppet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> yeah. his holy puppet. You would do it. Don't bad, Marvel. I heard you talk to fish. That's amazing. Dark Side's version of the movies are amazing. Oh yeah, I would watch those. He's drunk, obviously, when he's doing this. <laughs> he's gotta be. Yeah, what yeah. does Dark Side get drunk off of? Power. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much all the new stuff for yeah. this time around. So. I guess we should go ahead and bounce into some more of these movies we got listed up for you guys. Mm. Um, the 10 movies in each category that we think you should check out. Yep. No pressure. No pressure. No obligation. If you've seen these, awesome. Yeah, say high five to us because you've seen them. Mm-hmm. And we'll give you one verbal high five in return. Yep. Because you're cool and you've watched movies. you watched these movies. That movies we, that we enjoyed. That we thought were cool already before you even knew that we watched them. Mm. It's <laughs> fucking magic. Mm. Mm. It's magic. Uh, so, yeah, let's jump right into that. Floof, did you want to uh, be over here for this? I didn't think of anything beforehand. That's fine. That's you, fine. You'll, you'll hear what we talk about. And you, can, you, can you can just slide add. some in if you want. What's the next one? The next one. One. Next one. The next one we're going to do is horror movies. Yay. So I'm very curious <laughs> to see what you'll have yeah, to say about like, that. Yeah, because like, you guys aren't really major fans of horror. No. Mm. But you've seen some. We've seen some. Have you liked the ones you've what seen? What would you consider horror? If we're just talking like... Whatever like, you find scary. Because the first thing that came to mind is that vampire movie that's... They're in the bar. It's like an old Dust Till Dawn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's horror. So that's horror considered but, horror. Yeah, but I wouldn't say it was scary. Yeah, but that's still considered horror. It's still horror. The concepts are horrible. They're monsters tearing people in half. Really cool. I definitely really watched cool. that when I was an adult, though. <laughs> right. Really? I did not watch that when I was a kid. I remember watching that at one of my neighbor's parties, which is birthday that day, and we were like just having like sausage rolls and stuff. Well, it's funny you should mention it because Dust Till Dawn is on this list. and Wicked. And that's one of the ten, so... So, See, it's, so, it's, it's you, so far, so far, so good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dust Till Dawn is awesome. It's got George Clooney in it. Yeah, like one of my favorites with him. Yeah, I think it's probably my favorite of him as a lead. Machete in there? Machete? I'm sure he is. He's got to be. <laughs> he's got to be. He's in every one of the, their films. Yeah, Danny Trejo has got to yeah, be like a he's, bartender he's or something. He's in there. He's in there. I think he gets vampire face. He is already a vampire. Yeah. 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 Uh, of course he's in there. <laughs> 
Danny Trejo. Uh, uh, he's uh, great in it. On that, special features on that movie, and yeah. they're really good. Yeah, Quentin Tarantino plays the actual character in it. Oh. He's a super weirdo. He's great. But he's great in it he's as the weirdo. He's phenomenal like, You in totally it. believe yeah, it. Yeah, and I was like, wait a second, is he an actor? Yeah, I, I thought he was so. just a director, because he's owning this. Yeah, he definitely... I think that was probably the most successful role I've seen him yeah. do. Oh, well, well, I haven't really... I think, I can't really think of a film where he's actually in it. He's that. in Pulp Fiction. Mm-hmm. He's also in... Uh, he has an Australian accent in uh, Django. Right, right. Yeah, okay. Now then, <laughs> his most substantial role is this one. I don't know. His role's pretty big in the... Uh, and the Pulp Fiction. I like this one the most, though. Yeah, this one's definitely my favorite. It's got uh, sound like, isn't it? What else we got on here? <laughs> have you seen the movie Dawn of the Dead? Have you seen the remake of that? The remake. We're talking about the remake. The remake. Uh, uh, Shopping well, mall. That's still the old one, right? Is they didn't do, like, a recent remake within the past ten years. Oh, yeah. I think it's... I think it's pretty close to about? that. Like, 2006 or something, or five. It's by Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder directed it. It's the one where the zombies run hella fast and like at the beginning like he That's absolutely out. terrifying. That. Oh. Absolutely terrifying. I love that movie. No, no, yeah, but like, like this... I don't I don't like horror movies. Right. And I don't like to be scared. It's is the way the it's filmed. Because it's like an action movie with it zombies. It is a yeah. Is that the one with the zombie in the house? There's like a on like a bed or in a room. It's or all in a mall. I guess they all are. Yeah, it starts off then... like that way, and then they go to the mall, don't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's they a little kid yeah. that like pops up. And she's like bitten, and she like runs and it's like broad daylight. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, in the that's morning. What, I think it's that's the why it's of that movie. that's why it's way more terrifying, to right? Because I know they go, oh, zombies are scary. Zombie movies are scary, is like when it's in the nighttime and dark because you can't see them. I'm like, but when you can see them, that's way more terrifying because right. you 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 do see them. Yeah, <laughs> they are chasing you full speed. And I liked Ridiculous. I liked the the level of humor that was mixed mm. in. Felt natural. Uh, it felt natural, which is so weird because you're thinking about like how everybody's looking at these DC movies that he does, and they're they're so humorless. That's Dawn the of the Dead had lots of also, humor. Also, and when somebody was saying it's like, oh, it's more, it's a more serious film. It's like real life, and I'm like, real life's pretty funny. Right. Uh, you your life sucks. Yeah, if that's what you. If that's what like, your life like, if your life has dour. no humor, yeah, I don't want to have it. Yeah, I, I pity be, that. Yeah, situation. that's not that's not cool. Uh, but yeah, he's got lots of humor in Dawn mm. of the Dead, and I thought it was great. They've got the scene on the rooftop where they're shooting the celebrity lookalikes. Yeah, yeah, that was right. <laughs> they're like, Burt Reynolds. It's just that weird. Uh, it's the, the movie, it's it's really well done. I know it's a remake. Right. But but it's a remake I really enjoy. I probably enjoy more than more. Oh, than I remake. definitely like it more than the original. Uh, you know... A lot of people don't like the running zombie concept. I think it's... Ter- I mean, technically, uh, when you're thinking scientifically, whatever. I think when they first die, them running at you makes yes, total it sense. Yes, makes complete sense. But like, as they'll they go eventually, on, yeah, they, they have get to slower. eventually slow or slow to the point where they're even just right. falling apart. Which is totally fine. But when yeah, it's I like think the there's first a bit bite. of that in the when movie. When it's the first well. bite, though? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going crazy. Uh, what else we got on here? Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Now, to me, it's a uh, short sure, comedy, but right. it's definitely a horror film. Yeah, it's, yeah, that one's good. And so that has yeah. to be on the list because that's easily one of my favorite horror films. It's a great Edgar Wright movie. It's yep. the first of the Cornetto trilogy. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably my favorite of the Cornetto I films. I love them all. They're all different. I like all of them. I'm not saying any of yeah. them are bad, but I think it's my favorite. Mm. I think it's the one where I got the most attached to the characters. Right, right, right. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so... I'm surprised yeah. they didn't turn that into a series by now. I'm glad. I'm glad because it glad. wouldn't have been the same. Because I'm, I'm surprised. surprised I'm surprised. I'm surprised somebody had. It would. You know that it wouldn't surprise me if somebody already approached him about that. Right. Like, do you? It's, are you willing like, to so, give the rights to make a TV show? It's like, right. but you, you guys don't have to be involved. I know you want to do movies. Like, no. <laughs> it sounds like something you'd hear about. Like, oh, Amazon's making right. a Sean of the Dead series, uh, and I'm just gonna be like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and it, just because it's not involving Edgar Wright. Which, right. I don't know, I'd still uh, be also, curious. Or thing. if it was like an Americanized version of it, would no. be very interesting. Uh, they I'd tried that with it. the IT crowd. Did they? Cause yeah, because it saw. failed. I never even heard yeah, of it. Yeah, because the pilot was just... Well, you know, no some, one liked some it. Some don't work. The Office was a huge hit and went um, on for fucking ever. Um, yeah. the, the main guy from Community. Dan Harmon? Joel McCann, the, the actor. Oh, what about him? He was in the IT crowd remake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's not but they still got they still got uh, 
I don't think I, Joel McHale's very charismatic. No. I think it was the other characters on that show that really floated that show, In which community? is why the oh, other absolutely. people... Yeah, because it bounced directly up. It was yeah. kind of not the same anymore. Even though he stuck around. Uh, what else we got on here? Alien, the first Alien. That was that was one you included. I loved it. Um, uh, I appreciate it's it. It's sci-fi, but it's actually, it's it's really good. It's just really, really good. I appreciate it for what it is, but none of those movies appeal to no, me. None of them? Not even Aliens? No. You were never big on those, right? No. Yeah. I don't think I've seen it. I've, I've not liked, seen Alien? Oh, I liked, liked I always liked it. Predator more than the Aliens right. movies. I and really reckon you should watch Alien. It's really good. I think I it was on TV once I was a kid and it scared the shit out of me, so I that's never watched that's it. Wow. <laughs> it's just really, really good. Yeah, I don't like that the kind of horror that okay. Alien I, if, is. I haven't rechecked the list yet, but if it's not on the list, I'm going to have to add it later because there's another film that's not on this list. There's other film that I'm thinking of. Uh, Which is what? The Thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't like that one either. I love that movie. No, that movie's Isn't weird. that the old one? Yeah. Yeah, it's the one where the fucking dog's head like That's splits funny. apart it's into great. like a flower monster. It's great. I have no idea what that and then, like, is. I remember the first the dude's time... head rips off and then turns into a spider. The first time I watched it, uh, I was sick in bed, so it was even way more trippy because I was drugged up on, you know, right. trying to get better. But, no, I'm hella good uh, off that. I had nightmares, but... Yeah, I'll rewatch it again, obviously, and I really like it. It's so really that's an one. honorable mention. John, might, it might John be, Carpenter's yeah, thing. It, it might be an honorable mention, or we might even take up one of these lists, but it's there. Would you go pre? Would you like that more than Alien? Oh, I don't know. Would you like that more than Shaun of the Dead? No. Would you like that more than Dawn of the Dead? No. Would you like that more than Dust Till Dawn? Maybe. I it's definitely, definitely not not as fun as that. Dust Till Dawn is. How yeah. about the movie It? Yes. I've never seen it. You've never seen it? And I, I never will. I liked will it more than that. One? No. I like it more really? than that. You like it? I like it more than it. I would uh, watch it over it. That movie scared the fuck out of me as a kid, dude. Did you hate clowns afterwards? No. No? Just Tim Curry is a oh, fucking clown. Oh, he's... But, like... <laughs> that fucker as, is As terrifying. a kid, though, like, because when you see actors with makeup in other roles... To me, it's not the actor anymore. It's just this character that they're portraying. So Tim Curry was never Pennywise. Well, to me, to me, was. Pennywise is to is me, Pennywise. To me, Tim Curry was Pennywise for always and forever. Really? Oh shit! I so ever he became, fucking saw him he became Pennywise. Yep, he was oh, the clown guy for me. He's like, why is he acting this one? No, he is. Yeah, I know. I was like, I don't like it. Even when he showed up in Home Alone too, I remember as a kid being. Oh, like, dude, when he's motherfuckers creepy. Why wasn't he like the Grinch in yeah, anything? Because wasn't he, he the Joker in the early Batman movie? I thought he was supposed to be the no. He was the voice. He was the original voice. Of oh, what? I know who you're talking about. I was like, who the fuck is Tim Curry? But now I just saw his face. Tim it's Curry. Yeah. yeah. He was the original voice of the animated Joker, but then um, got he should have been Mark the Hamill. look of the Joker in oh, the yeah, movie yeah. Oh, instead that of Jack been Really Nicholson. good, actually. That would have been fucking radical. It would have changed. His career would have changed, would, be, would be so different. Oh yeah, it would have been different. But it would have been fucking wow. Radical. And he'd be the definitive Joker. Probably. Uh, we got on here Frighteners. Love Have you it. Seen Frighteners. It's Michael, Michael J. Fox. Fox. No. He's like a ghost uh, medium. Yeah. No. Because uh, he remembered how his wife died with numbers and stuff, and he wanted to try and find it. What? And there's, it's good. There's like ghosts and stuff. The effects are really interesting. It's cool really good. I recommend. Here. I recommend you. Watch yeah, it. I think it's a really cool one. Down. It's underrated. Not enough Very. people have even seen it. No, or even like would consider that one of Michael J. Fox's best, which right. I would. Which, yeah, it's definitely. He's got a lot cool of good movie. movies though. It was a really dope movie. It was. I, remember, I, I think that was um, one of the few scary movies as a kid. That I what was like, I want to see that one. I want to see it in the theater. Yes. I like, yeah. went to see it in the theater for that I one. loved it. I loved uh, it. We got Child's Play 3 on here. Because we figured we needed... Yeah. yeah. We figured we needed at least one of those Chucky movies. Because that thing is childhood. The third one was my favorite. That's the one where they go to the military school. I loved it because that setting alone right. <laughs> was legit. And I'm like, whoa, that's a good place to bring it. He's got the tiny black dude mm-hmm. friend. Right, right. And uh, th- that he's young enough to want the Chucky doll. Yep. And now, like, the main kid is now older now. He's a teenager. And he's sent to boarding school because everybody thinks he's crazy because he keeps yeah. talking about this fucking <laughs> this doll, doll that chased him as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> and he actually chases him back. Right. And I was like, God damn it. And now somehow kill him. He, he got, like... He got formed back together from that. I don't remember how they killed him in the second movie. I forgot, but he, he was made of parts. Right. I know he was... He wasn't was he? A, I don't well, he, he had a cut. Parts. He was like... 
His face was like sewn up, sewn together. One? Was it that one? I'm pretty sure. I think it was the one after. Was this it? One. Oh, okay. Did they kill him by? Because sh- he gets like shredded up or right, something. Right. No, no. I thought like his face had like a scar. It was just partially sewn. Like it one wasn't. One of them parts. he gets melted. I can't remember which one that one is. I'll like. have to rewatch the either one. Thing. You've never. If you're gonna watch any, I think the third one is the win. The most recent one. I didn't see that one. That's the one it, where it's a CG thing, right? It looks good though. Does it? Yeah. I was actually like, okay, I, I'm okay with this. Because it went back to the whole, let's not show a lot of him. Right. And it looked like where they did show him, it was still a puppet. Or either a, a puppet body with a CG type face. Just to get it more clean. I'm All I know is that... um, I think it's on a streaming thing. I don't remember which yeah, one. But what I, was the name of that one? Oh, I don't even Curse, know. Curse was it Curse of, of Chucky? Chucky? Something like that? I, I don't know. Because it was after Bride. I don't think I watched The Bride of Chucky. I, I don't know. I don't know. They had started to get real weird when they brought the girl one in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know Method Man was in one of them. We got Freddy versus Jason. Because it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's silly fun. It, it was it was fun. fully self aware. Absolutely, it it, it knew captured it, yeah. it captured the essence of both characters. I felt like oh, I mean, I'm sure like purists of both franchises would be like that was the abomination. It was the worst of the lot. They didn't do know. the character I justice. Thought it was like, I was like, I mean, I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, because Freddy was Freddy was aware of everything. It seemed. Yeah, and then when they get them to actually fight, yeah, that was Freddy's cool. like a ninja, yeah. like jumping on him and stuff. It was well, so like rad. Using uh, telekinesis, <laughs> yeah. just lifting him up and stuff. It was so crazy. Dude. It was ridiculous. It was a wrestling match. They killed Kelly Rowland. They did. I think she calls him a gay epithet. Really? In the movie. Cool. She says something about his sweater being homosexual or something. Random. Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Love it. To me, this is... Ex- that was an unexpected surprise. I didn't, I like I didn't expect to like it. And I yeah, I, I like it. I like those actors. It's the dude from Deadbeat. Tyler Labine and Alan Tudyk. Labine, a great name. And Tudyk is great in everything. Yeah. That guy is the, he's a legend. Funny. That guy, is, anything he's in, he's usually amazing in it. <laughs> Even if the thing that he's in is crap. Right. He is amazing in it. Definitely. And uh, weird. last one we have on the list officially is mm. Attack the Block. Yes. Uh, I just got Kanoi to watch this movie semi-recently. I wouldn't consider that a horror movie. If you're a kid, it's it would a be. a monster movie. You're getting I mean, it is a monster people movie. People getting decapitated and shit. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's like a, a, a really good modern day remake of Monster Squad, kind of. Exactly. It, it's a group of teenagers yep. versus monsters saving their neighborhood. I mean, sure, it's not the Universal Monsters, but that was just a gimmick. Right. But I feel like they play it up like it's it feels old school right. and pulpy the way right, that the right. monsters yep, yep. are. The way they treated them. And how, how they're actually done in the movie. Oh, the way they're done is they're phenomenal. Like pitch black. Love they it. have I love no it. shadow actually, or lighting. It's just amazing how they pulled it off. Right. Fantastic. Fantastic. That film. Doing a uh, piece for that would be really cool, I feel like, to try and nail mm. that like they're all black Only, thing. Oh, uh, that's, that's tricky. Yeah. That's tricky. Uh, and I really like that one. It's got, uh, mm-hmm. what's his nuts from the Star Wars movie? It's got... Uh, what's his name? Finn. Boyega. John, John Boyega, uh, the star of upcoming Pacific Rim 2. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> that movie's gonna be a thing. <laughs> it uh, is. Yeah, he, they've got him in it, and it was like his debut thing. It's yep. got the kid from uh, Flash and Legends of Tomorrow. All right, uh, Firestorm. Yeah, he's in it as well. With a proper accent. Right, <laughs> right, with his actual accent yeah. instead of whatever that well, abomination whatever this is. thing that he does. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know what his U.S. accent yeah, yeah. is supposed it's to be. It's confusing. I know a lot of those actors in those shows are actually not even American. It's right. weird. But I'm like, you're the one that's convincingly not American. Yeah. Whereas the other ones, I'm like, I don't even realize this guy was British. Oh, that yeah. guy's an Australian? What? Yeah, who do? Yeah, not, not me. Him, Except this one, I'm like, hmm, something's weird about you. His accent is all over the place. Yeah, I'm like, like what are you trying supposed to, do? to be from New York and a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> it's weird. It's hella weird. I don't like it, though. Let the British... Let I the mean, old guy him as, as an actor, he's fine, but yeah. his accent's super weird. Right, right. It's not... Maybe maybe next season it might be better. Yeah, well, we'll see. But yeah, that's the uh, the tenth one, right? That That's the horror list for this week. Like Any would, other ones? Yeah, what would you? Like what would I you? Would have added, um, I remember watching the t- 
Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the oh, one that was in like two thousand three or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I remember what and I hate I hate scary movies. All right. And I remember like half watching this one because I was so scared, but like thinking it was still really good. Yeah. <laughs> like not like understanding it was I good, but you're that terrified one of and it. And not thinking it was too bad either. Yeah, yeah it wasn't bad. See, so, like, there might have been a couple of other ones, but I don't care. I know the Freddy enough. remake was garbage. I didn't watch it. So garbage. It was so bad. It's I almost... was thinking um, Hostel was, like, really crazy, but not in a good way. Did you like the Saw movies? None of those I liked, like, the list. first... The first song. The first song might good. be good. I, I, think, I think that could I be an honorable. I watched the first two, and then I stopped watching them. I think that could be an honorable mention. Um, but, yeah. I think the concept of Saw was very interesting. I thought the twist in Saw was so good that they floated an entire franchise off of that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> off a character named Jigsaw. Right. But just that, I mean, I don't, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the first Saw movie, but the whole movie, there's the two guys that are having this moral dilemma back and forth while they try and play this game, and there's a dead guy in the corner that they presume had already tried to play this game and died. But then at the end of the movie, the dead guy gets up and takes off his, all the makeup and shit. It's like, oh, I was alive the whole time. It was me that was running the game. Uh, fuck you. You cut your own arm off or whatever. And then he bails. Yeah. So the, the other <laughs> two have to try and basically, yeah, it's crazy. Right. And then they were like, let's make a thousand sequels off but of see, that. But see, because the reason why everyone's like, let's make a thousand sequels is like, that film costs nothing to make. Right. It costs And, and it made us dollars. so much money. <laughs> a quadruple yeah. million dollars. But that's happening a lot these days. Yeah. Horror, does, fil- horror, horror films movies... might be the one of the only easiest ways to do that. Yeah. They're really cheap to make and they can have big returns if they don't completely suck balls. And sometimes even if they suck balls, they make money. Mm-hmm. Uh, Other horror films that stand out to me. See, I don't know if that's horror film. Pandorum? Actually, that is a horror film. I like I that a lot. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh... I like it. All right. It's got Ben Foster. It's got the the chick who is um, Feyora. It's oh, got yeah, it's got Superman. it's got Dennis Quaid. Okay. And it was really it's set in space. Well, you're not really selling it, but I don't want to give away anything. <laughs> but it's really good. It's uh, a horror film, and I'll it's sci-fi. It's it. sci-fi horror. That's why I really like it. Uh, I, like I don't know if that I have any real honorable mention. So yeah, I think that's it. Pandorum is my honorable mention. Uh, I don't remember if it's on this list anywhere else. Okay. The only other one I was going to mention is on here somewhere else. So I won't mention it. Okay. So I guess until next one, guys. Yep. Say chip and chat. Say chip and chat. What up, chip and chat? This is chip and chat chat. What up, chip and chat? This is chip and chat chat. What up, chip and chat? This is chip and chat chat. What up, chip and chat? This is chip and chat chat.